Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be doing Can My Cats Eat Chimps? And basically, the way it's going to work is that my cats are going to be, let's say, so I'm going to put some pieces of paper on the ground, numbered 1 through 7, and they are going to, I'm going to put a treat on each paper, and then they're going to eat one of those treats, which will equate to a tower. Now, um, something actually very sad happened, and because I want proof of, like, you know, proof of this challenge, and I'm not faking it, um, I will hopefully be uploading a YouTube short from my phone, because, um, the video just keeps corrupting when I move it over my computer, so, sadly, I, I mean, I'm not trying to, like, get a ploy out of views for, like, making you guys watch a separate short, but basically, they chose 1, 6, 4, and 3, which I was like, there's almost no combination that they can give me that's gonna make me lose. Until I saw this, like, what? And I'm like thinking, what what do I do? So I've chosen Resort because Mortar's probably gonna be one of our best DPS. It's gonna be uh, a dark start, and I'm not sure if Dark Monkey can start on its map. I mean, it probably should. Resort's super easy, but yeah. So I think the strategy might evolve as I think about it. But it's probably gonna be Crossbow Master, Balloon Incineration, Alk Buff. And then Top Path Village. Top Path Village because the Crossbow Master is going to be a big part of our damage. And then also, um, it's going to be able to attack. And as I'm thinking about placements here, I want the Alchemist in here. Now we're going to die because I did not place him down fast enough. But I think if we do Village here, so I can get a good straight line when it attacks. Same with the Crossbow Master. Mortar will be like down here somewhere. And then if I put Alchemist in the middle, he'll be able to buff everything, right? And he's not going to be damaged, okay? I don't expect him to deal much. But yeah, this is actually probably going to be the toughest challenge I've done. I was, like, expecting it to be, like, you know, Oh, look at this really cool challenge with my cats. But I did not um, expect that it was going to be this hard. Obviously, that's a welcome surprise. I could use a challenge because I don't really find good ways to actually challenge myself normally. So this is definitely going to be probably the easily the most difficult thing I've done on this channel because I'm not sure if it's it's doable yet now I know there probably is something out there like oh yeah um balloon incineration perma brew is possible and then I'm gonna look like an absolute fool but I mean like look at these towers two supports for two kind of mid towers like I don't know we have round 11 we'll be able to get down the mortar and I want him up here do I actually want him lower no I want to put him up here can I, will I be able to fit a village in here, though? No, can I fit a village up there? Could I, should I put him up here? The village should be able to reach, right? I mean, he's not going to really benefit from anything besides jungle jumps, which 15% is, like, a good amount of attack speed, but it's not going to be anything, you know, to, like, to, you know, get hung over about. I am honestly worried about the bad. I feel like that is going to be probably the toughest thing. And I'm thinking... Do I go for popping off, or do I go for Bloomson? I think I kind of need to go for Bloomson. It's going to definitely be the main damage dealer. I feel like if we lose to the bad, that's going to be so sad. But I feel like losing to the bad is probably going to be the most, like, like, I don't know, like, um, probably the most probable option that's going to happen. I'm not going to get the village down yet. Ah, uh, what do I want to do? Let's give me the build order. I have to decide on this mortar quickly. I'm right now. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go with crossbow into sharpshooter, and then I'll probably get tier three out buff. Does the he actually reach up? With the village, he will reach up. So I'm good at that. Um, um, yeah. Uh, sharpshooter now. I will go middle path. It's just better, and I'm gonna keep him on last, uh, because I really want to maximize his pierce. And this Frostmaster Master is going to get some pretty good straight line action, actually. Uh, but, honestly, a low pierce tower. So, kind of sucks against DDT's late game also. He's not going to deal much bad damage. So, we're kind of be, going to be relying on Bloomington in late game. But, I can't think of too many, you know, major fallbacks right now to this strategy. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Hmm, this is, this is, you know, really... A thinker. So yeah, we'll reach. I like these placements. I like these placements. 
Uh, the range is really going to only help these two. Mortar isn't going to benefit from range. Only Jungle Drums, as I said, is really going to help it. And it's going to have camera detection too. So I think that, honestly, do I go for discount? Because Alchemist, I don't need camo. He's going to have a D camo. He's going to see camo. I think I'll go for discount, which means I probably should have waited to upgrade the sharpshooter. I could have saved a couple hundred. I don't know why selling's enabled, actually. I had everything set to default. I mean... I mean, it's chimps. Like, I... I don't know why selling's enabled. I mean, powers aren't. Um, double cash isn't. It's not like I have monkey knowledge on. Like, I'd see that weird icon if I had monkey knowledge on. So I don't know what's up with that. I'm not going to sell these powers. They sell for zero anyway, so... I'm not going to sell them. I'm not going to sell them. But yeah, I think going for discount is going to be smart. I like the discount play. Which means that I will go for tier 3 Alcbuff now. Um, for the cross path at least. I'm not sure. Um, I'll cross path it later if needed, but right now I don't need it. And I think Crossbow Master is going to be a very good mid game. Uh, deflation. He kind of carries Deflation, which is um, the 30s to the 60s. And I know he can kind of be through the 70s and the 80s too. So... I'm going to get him up first, and yeah, uh, hopefully we'll be good enough against the Moab. Please subscribe, as he says here, this video is going to actually, it actually took a while to rank all my cats in and get everything set up, so if you want to consider subscribing, that'd be amazing. I really appreciate it. I'm currently in a race with uh, Tommy to uh, 1,000, and my goal is 1,000 by the end of the year. I don't know if I'm going to hit that. It'd be really amazing if I did. That'd be like a dream come true right there, so yeah. If you feel like subscribing, if you want to see more videos like this, you know, leave a comment down below, leave a like. And yeah, let's, you know, let's keep going. Uh, something that I just noticed, he is still set on last, and I'm going to put him on first. Uh, I don't really know why he was on last, I guess I just forgot. We're about 5k off Crossbow Master. Um, yeah, I think he's definitely going to carry us. I still haven't decided on the mortar yet. I'm going to leave him 0, zero, zero for as long as possible. Um, because... If I go for the bottom path, then I've locked in Signal Flare, basically. Uh, I've locked in Bloom Sig. Because none of these two are going to be better. They're always going to be better with each other's cross paths. And I could probably go for faster firing, but that's not really going to do much. If we die, we die to Crossbow Master locking. And it's not looking too good. If we just need a bit of Pierce or Attack Speed, I'll go for that. Let's just try a stronger stim. Let's see if that's enough. It's obviously going to set us back a lot, but, you know. We can handle the rainbows better. Nice, nice. Okay, looks like he's lacking uh, pierce on these ceramics. It looks like he's being pierce got by the greens. So, let's go for... Let's go for that. Um, let's go for Alcoba 2, why not? But he's literally our only damage right now. So, if, if this dude fails... Okay, he handles those a lot better. Ceramics, um, they're pushing, they're pushing, but it's gonna be better than last time, okay. Zebras, no problem. With the plus one, he will one-shot them. Uh, rainbows do get turned into red, sadly, but we're good, we're good. Okay, Grasshopper Master, round 52. He should carry us into the mid-70s, 80s. Uh, we'll get primary mentoring. I know it's just range and peers, but on this tower, on this straightaway, being able to set him on last and use all of his peers... Um, it's going to be very vital. That is going to be something that I am going to appreciate a lot. And eventually he'll get that. So, you know. If I wanted to save more money, I probably could have waited to cross back him until I got this. But, you know. $200 shouldn't make that much of a difference. If I lose by $200, then I guess I'm redoing this run. Yep, so that's the ZOMG dead. And I've literally just sat here and let this crossbow master go to work. Um... Yeah, I haven't made a decision on the mortar yet, but Super Ceramics are going to kind of throw this guy for a loop, so... I think now's about the time when we'd be able to afford it. It's going to cost 43000 so we could actually buy it with room to spare. So... Quite a bit of room to spare. I'm going to target him up here, because we want that wall of fire to start getting the DOT right away, and then let anything... Come back, and now he is going to be the carry until we get this. When that's not going to carry, actually, what am I saying? Um, ignore that, and I will choose this because I want the buff to last longer. And you're probably thinking, well, what does elk buffing uh, those towers do? Um, the plus one does nothing. The range is nothing for the mortar. 
Uh, it actually increases attack speed by a fractional amount. Like, look. Watch when the buff gets thrown at him. He's shooting a bit faster. He's pushing that lever just a tad bit faster. And yeah. After I get this, that's going to kind of be the end of our defense. And I don't think we're... We're not affording Perma Crew. I highly doubt it. I mean, maybe 60k on that guy. 30... 25,000 on the Crossbow Master. That is... Um, that is... Uh, that is... Uh, uh, that's like 80 plus uh, the Alex buff which is another like six seven K um, that's um that's 87 plus this village is probably 40 no that is too much that's probably 35 somewhere around there so that is 80 80 maybe we actually can 178,650 something I think is the number is the magic number I'm gonna leave him there because if anything gets back around it, it'll be back. But yeah, let's do. Yeah, he ain't gonna do much, sadly. He, the only thing he will do is he will steal the Alk buff from this guy. So now I think I probably should have went for the bottom cross bat so it could buff. Yeah, AMD ain't doing anything. I probably should went for the bottom cross bat because and now it won't be able to buff this guy. I was not thinking. Yeah, let's just see how long he's. Oh, never mind. DDTs. I will not be seeing how long these guys can go because that will be until round 100 and that will be the end of the video and I will this will be kind of an L video so yeah shattering shells um defortifying the moabs yep pretty pretty cool pretty cool um he has already getting, getting pretty close to the crossbow master Villa just putting in so much at least yeah he is gonna get the damage on these guys first, so I will expect him to get the most pops. Simply because he's also about twice as costly. He's probably about all these three towers combined, probably equal what he costs. Maybe actually maybe actually just the tier fives. That would probably tip him over. But yeah. When everything gets past there, I'm gonna target him back. But then when the round ends, I'm gonna target him back up front. Because I want the wall of fire to appear as soon as possible. And because it's purple balloons, it's actually going to eat up his wall of fire, but the Mega Ballista is just going to bounce back and forth right here and stop all the purple balloons. So we actually have a nice healthy wall of fire for all these DDTs. That is actually really cool. Um, 95 is usually uh, the third hardest round in the game, I'd say. Um, I'd say it's harder than 99 because of the sheer amount of DDTs. And 98 hardest round and the bad is the second hardest round the bad is usually overlooked because if you can handle 30 fortified um bfbs and eight zomgs you can probably handle one big bad balloon but you never know zomgs um i'm gonna get the dot on them i'm gonna target it back here a bit and then i'm gonna target it in here in that circle he can actually not defortify zomgs but he can definitely defortify um um, BFBs. So I kind of got late to setting the wall of fire, but I will set it there to defortify. I'm moving it back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he getting pure scapped? Are they getting pure scapped? Um, come on. Wall of fire OP. Wall of fire OP. I'm setting it back up at the front to defortify DDTs, and I'm setting it back here. Yep, there we are. Round 100. We did not afford Perma Root. Actually, got closer than I thought we would. Maybe with optimal discounts, we could have gotten even closer. But, ooh, it looks like they're going to be pretty close, actually. Crossbow Master might still edge him out by a bit. That is kind of weird. I would have thought that Bloom Sin would have been the best. But, yeah. Um, that was honestly quite difficult. Um, I There were a couple of rounds in there that with the Crossbow Master that I did not show where I actually did have to do a bit of micro. Not a butt ton, but these last couple of rounds were kind of scary, honestly. Um, still the hardest challenge I've done because I don't do very many too difficult things. 300,000 on him, 7k. And yeah, about 31,000 more on the crossbow master. Maybe he's giving me some 2 million pops. Um, 2 million pops something. But yeah, I bet you could probably you could probably do a 2TC with these two, actually. If, if that one hasn't been done yet, I might try that. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment down below, and if you like it, and yeah, like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.